Drove by a church today that occasionally does well. Funny signs, like not funny signs, like you know they put up wacky animals or something. But on their itinerary, like they'll say, you know, Sunday, 9 a.m. Uh, you know, we'll do the reading, and then 10:30 we'll rephrase the clouds, and and then sometimes they'll put an expression, you know, things to make you go, hmm. Today's expression was that I drove by the Baptist Church on Martin Street, Milton. Creation is like pointing a finger to God. And I'm wondering with the stuff that I'm creating, which finger am I pointing? Am I the only one who, when they see the Black Keys playing, wonders, okay, when did Meg White become a dude? You have to forgive me for being grumpy today. I'm still getting over the fact that Mary Hart retired. Mary Hart, the golden retriever from Entertainment Tonight, not to be confused with E.T. Canada, which is Euro Disney of public relations. Mary Hart was to journalism what KFC is to sustenance. You know, it's a quick, easy, greasy fix that apparently has a secret that nobody cares about at all. Mary's secret was, who's going to star in the latest Spielberg disappointment? And KFC's secret, it being 11 herbs and spices. Let me guess, uh, 11 herbs and spices, you shake the salt five times and you shake the pepper six times. Yawn. Next! When I was a kid and I heard the Beatles song back in the USSR, I thought McCartney was saying, the unicorn girls really knocked me out. Not being familiar with the Ukraine, which I'm not sure if it's still a country. Because I don't think Yugoslavia's, Yugoslavia is not a country anymore. I don't know if the Ukraine is still a country. I gotta, gotta Google that. Yesterday was hot, murky funk. Haven't recently had, had our sliding glass doors imploded. We had it repaired by our condominium manager. Townhouses now count as condos. Hooray! I always think of condominiums as lavishly quiet apartments where aspiring yuppies and senior citizens cohabitate in a pharmaceutical haze. But the term condo now counts as well as stuffy, lopsided townhouses with no backyards, just wooden decks big enough to flop about in alcoholic spasms while I listen to the butthole surfers on my iPod shuffle. It's so tiny! With a sliding glass door repaired, our air conditioner wood plank that holds the hot air exhaust tube is now too long. I could cut the wood to accommodate the exhaust tube, but uh, I don't. Instead, I sit sipping beer on my day off, watching uh, Game of Thrones. After all, my super nerds insisted that I take the time. Game of Thrones far exceeds all the hype that I heard. And I heard a lot. I, I heard a, a fuck truck load, a fuck truck load, a fuck truck load of hype about that show. Game of Thrones is what Lord of the Rings would have been if they took out all the magic and replaced it with blood, guts, and titties. It's my kind of telly. My wife liked it too. We pop culture junkies spent our afternoon watching Game of Thrones and trying to remain cool. Her in SpongeBob SquarePants tank top and matching spants. I in green, I'm in, uh, I in army green shorts with a damp cloth on my head, sipping strong ale that was on sale and tastes a bit stale, but it does the job. Oh, liquid bread, how I love thee. I love the way you lessen the load of being poor and tired and overheated and squalor. This pop culture junkie sips. This pop culture junkie sits, sips ale, daydreams, dreams, 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 Cool, sweet breeze will find me at my day job. My day job, cooking at a bar across the street from a maximum security prison. The only thing I left my house for today was to get McDonald's, which my wife craved, but did not want to leave the house for. You see, my wife makes jewelry and works at a store. She makes jewelry at home. 
out of wire and stones and gems and metal. She has made more money at selling her jewelry than I ever did performing stand-up or busking or performing poetry or poetry readings. My passion for the arts are only eclipsed by my complete failure at all of them. I am grateful for those of you that have taken the time to watch these diary diatribes. Now with bongos! And I want to say extra thanks to those of you that have taken the time to repost my vids, for there is no greater compliment an amateur artist can receive than the distribution of their craft to others. Big mad love to all y'all.